Yes, sir. We're back with On the Radar. I got my boy, JC, in the building. Y'all you know didn't see him last time, but he was here with Christian Royce. And he also brought me a new artist today, Banco Dupree. What up, bro? Hey, hey, what's good, bro? What's How you good? doing, man? Chilling, brother. How you? Yo, I've been listening to your shit all morning, and I, we, we were talking about this, and I re, and I like I really fuck with it. Appreciate it. And I, they might, you know, my viewers might hear me say this a lot, but like what I do is like, you know, I, I'll work in the morning, and I'll play like whoever's coming in's music, just kind of like catch a vibe and like, mm -hmm feel it out and whatnot and like your shit just kind of like your shit just flowed like yeah. real nicely and it was just like i like it wasn't kind of like it wasn't background music but it was just kind of like it was good music just kind of like vibe out and work yeah. too yeah. and it, it, it was dope man for the day, shit like that. and like she's yours i know we were talking about that before yeah. but she's yours she's yours as a banger yeah that's what's going on like what's the story like what's the story behind that record like, i can't even explain that shit bro. i just put like like the shit was like i had no like I was probably had like what 500 followers, like getting like 10 likes on a on a, on a post. Like I just put that shit out there, a couple hashtags, and that shit just went like, like the month later that shit had like 100k. Oh, for real? And then like I just like it's I, got like a mill now on, yeah, on it's over like like Spotify and shit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that feel? Shit's crazy, bro. It's like magic, bro. I don't even know. I can't explain that shit. So how did y'all two find each other? Through the grand social media. Man. Yeah, like social he just media. he picked it. He seen it. He's like early on, like he caught on, like he was just like yeah, hey. like like you know, it's like. Sometimes, like, you look at artists and you're like, all right, like, what could I do? Like, how could I connect the dots? Or, like, how can I work with them? Or, like, I just, like, I just always try to look outside the box. So mm -hmm. I look at, like, art, at artists like X. Or I look at, at that time, you know, like, 6'9". Mm -hmm. You know, I just saw the direction they were going. And I was just like, I, I see that in him. I was like, let me check the kid out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was just like, and then from there, like, we'll just figure something out. We just work. And then we kept in tune. We followed each mm -hmm. other. And after that, we just started chopping it up on the DMs. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. It was, what's dope about you is I know I've had, like, people on the show. Um, shout out to my guy, Tyler Bands from the Bronx. You and, like, him and, like, other, some other rappers now, they kind of fit, like, this genre of hip-hop that I, in my head, I call punk, mm -hmm. punk hip-hop, whatever you, you want to call it. Do you consider yourself, like, part of that, mm -hmm. like, that genre? Or I mean, honestly, like, I don't know. I feel like me personally, I, I just, like, I don't really try to put like a name on or like a label. On. I just like, I, I try to like, I feel like I have like, I try so many different things. I got so many different blends and like so many different inspirations, like from so many different fields. I just like all blends into one and it's just like, that's what it is. Cause like I, I some of your stop. influences are like the Sex Pistols. Some of that shit, yeah. Like I do fuck you, with the punk wave, but in, like I. In your bio it says Young Thug, Dipset, Sex Pistols, Old Dirty, Old Dirty Bastard, yeah, excuse me, ODD. and The Doors. Yeah, and I'm yeah. just like, wait a second. Man, shit, like, I don't, that's what I'm saying. I go, through, man, so I go through so many different phases. Like I have a favorite for so like, for like this period. Like, I, go, I go through so many different genres and shit. It's like, it's crazy. I can't. So, and, there, I, and honestly, right now it's like I'm on I'm on like this phase right now where like I don't listen to nothing. Like what I mean, you don't listen to like, nothing. I haven't listened to music in probably like like three months, four months. I hear a lot of people do that, and correct me if I'm wrong, but are you doing it because you don't want to be influenced? I, by... I don't want I don't want like the like the project I'm about to put out. I don't want like no influence on that. I you want wanted it to just kind of like come yeah. straight for I fuck with that. I like that. And like I've been up in like Woodstock and like shit, just like up in the mountains, like secluded and shit like that. Like, oh, recording. so you on your Kanye West shit yeah, right now? That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you, do you like, like it? Because I feel like a lot of people like. Not go crazy up there, but it's kind of there's nothing around you. You feel me? I think I went crazy before I went up there. And I, I, when I went out there, like like did that, like it, that's that's what kind of like I, I found myself and like mellowed me out, kind of like. Yeah, cause I cause I was telling you how there's a place upstate that I go and like it's cool for like a day or two, and then like once you hit day four or five, you just there like and it, it's like a modern place too. And I just be like, yo, there's nothing around. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause I'm so used yeah, to waking nature, up to bro. like yeah. car <laughs> noises, like cars racing, train noises. That's the shit that freaks me out a lot. It's right. like I feel like I can get murdered out here. Yeah, <laughs> like there's like like if somebody came and somebody tried to kill me, who am I going? Like you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like who am I going to call? There's nobody <laughs> around for like a mile. Talk that thing. <laughs> so being so where. Upstate, are you from? Just to clarify, for I all was born in Kingston. Okay, you know, I was like, I was like, but like, I bounced all around. Like, I've been like, like Poughkeepsie. I've been like Woodstock. I've been like, uh, fucking. I've been even in like Nebraska, Omaha, Nebraska. I lived, oh, there. I lived out there for like four years. What bro. the fuck is there out in Omaha, Nebraska? <laughs> I don't know. I can't even. Call no, so, um, that's an honest bro. question because my father was born on <laughs> now, like Omaha, in Omaha, Nebraska, actually, but like, o like Nebraska is nothing but corn. But then like Omaha is actually like a turnt city, bro. Like Omaha is yeah. lit. Omaha's get the fucking, fuck out. Omaha is lit. It's actually and, and it's like. Like it's, it's it's crazy out there. It's, it's, it's turned on some like it's on some like old school like shit. For real? Like, old school gang banging shit out there. Like them <laughs> niggas, them niggas out there were like really on some dicky shit on the block, really? bro. Oh, man. It's crazy out there. It's funny though. It's like they like behind the times, but it's like they got their own swag out there. It's lit. I and guess. it's like and it's like so low key, bro. It's like they got their own they still like they still like listening to like 
like the old school music, like the old school like whips. They ain't on like they don't like mm. they don't ride foreigns. They ain't on the Beamer wave and like no, they ain't on like the foreign wave. They ride like old schools with like that's big weird, but it's also kind of cool. Yeah, but also I, I I can't imagine. I don't even know what Omaha looks like. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like it kind of reminds me of, like Houston a little bit. Okay, I've been to Houston, so I I can get that. It's like glo- like a little bit of high rise like high rise buildings, but like most of it's just kind of like yeah, houses this is flat, and- flat as. Fuck. Yeah, flat, <laughs> flat as fuck is, is the perfect yeah, definition yeah, yeah, yeah. of Houston. Just flat as fuck. Like being upstate, like the mount by the mountains and shit like that was mm-hmm. like it's like kind of like claustrophobic a little bit. It's like my first time being like Texas or like Omaha yeah. and shit like that. I just seeing like the flatness is like breathtaking. Like you just seeing like the open yeah. sky mm-hmm. and shit. Like, yeah. It's just different. It's a different vibe and shit. Is it um, weird kind of like going? I'm assuming you're in the city a lot because yeah. I know um I know I know y'all record with Christian Royce yeah. and shit like that down here. So are you come down here often or do you kind of like stay up there? Yeah, I'm down here. I'm down here a lot. I bounce it like like. In between, I try to balance a lot, like you know what I'm saying, like recording down here, like just just chopping up. Like I got a lot of people down here and shit like that. So, do you find it like do you like it down here more? Or do you kind of like the secludedness mm. of the upstate? I like both. I know, I, and I like having the option to be able to like get away down here and then like yeah. get, or getting away up there. Either way, you know what I'm saying. I like having the option and shit. Like yeah, that. I like them both. It was funny because I was actually talking to someone last night um, at the showcase. I was at uh, shout out to the major record label showcase. Um, there was this artist that I met, and he he's he lives in the Bronx now, but he's originally from Long Island. And if you've never been to Long Island before, I'm from Long Island. It's basically like suburbs, but there's like also like certain areas that are kind of like a little more urban centric mm-hmm. and I'm from one of those towns but it's like it's quiet you know what I'm saying yeah. like you go to sleep at night you don't hear anything you hear like the train <laughs> in the background crazy. you hear the cars and then like my apartment now where I live at in Queens like you know you hear everything yeah, all the yeah. noise the people all downstairs night. all that bullshit and I was just talking to him and I was like yo bro like sometimes I love just going to Long Island because like it'd, it'd be the best sleep I ever have yeah. in my life because it's just quiet so I get that yeah. I get that feeling because sometimes you just like you like this and you think that you like for so being long. in the city for so long. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've lived in, like, the city for the past five years of my life. And then you go you go back to, like, you know, where you're from or you go somewhere quiet. Mm-hmm. And you're like, damn, like, this this might be better than what I, than what I got right now. But then yeah. after a while, that shit gets spooky. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah After a while, you're like, you're like, oh, shit, it's too quiet. Now I got to go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the fact I need like, to watch when I be upstate, movement. especially, like, when it gets cold out in the fall. And like you driving down those roads at like 1 a.m., yeah. I'm like, yo, I don't know what's about to pop up. There was yeah. one time I was with my homies and they was in the backseat talking about their favorite horror movies. I was like, can, like, can, yeah, y'all, like, yeah. can y'all not right now? This is like the not the time to be yeah, talking about exactly. this bullshit in front of me. Exactly. But yeah, it's it's dope. Um, so moving on from that, I know you did you did a, a four year sentence. Oh yeah. Like so how did that like, you know? I'm sorry we took the such a sudden shift, yeah. but I, this is something that I'm really interested to talk to you about. Mm. How did that kind of like shape how like the way you make music and like I guess kind of like your outlook on mm. on life and your career? Um, I mean, I look at it as like a positive and a negative, like because like I, I really like sometimes I try not to like put that out there like a lot, but like cause I hate when rappers like you know like try to like glorify like the jail bids and shit like that. But like I take it as like a positive and negative because then like I had just started getting into music at the time and like I didn't really know what I was doing with it. I didn't take it serious, but like that that time away. That time away from the streets, that time away from everything, my family and everything, like, really got me, like, to myself. Like, I was just by myself, you know what I'm saying? I, was, I did a lot of time in the box and shit, so I was just by myself and, like, just focused. And, like, a lot of the shit, like, I'm doing now, like, it was just, prep, like, preparation from then, you know what I'm saying? I was, mm. like, prepping, I was like, prepping for this shit, like, all that time. Were like, you writing a lot? I, I, that's mo- like, look, it's crazy, because a lot of the shit I've been putting out now is, like, was written, or, like, was, like you know what I'm saying, was written while I was, was, while I was away. Like, and oh, I've been out for, for like, two years, like, three years now. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm wow. going on three years now. So, ha- so like the stuff that you're putting out now, stuff that you wrote back then. So a lot of it, not not all of it, but a lot of it. So do you feel that um like how does writing music now compare to like back then? Because you know I'm sure see, now it's like see, you have a more positive outlook on things. Yeah, see now it's more like now it's like more like it's like a more turnt vibe. It's more like a lot of like the turnt shit and like the the party shit and like mm-hmm. the, the like living like my best life type shit is like is like inspired. Do you feel by now. like you're living your best life? Um, I like to say like. Yeah, like the ch- I, I I love chasing this shit. Like you know, the the, the like, this is like a blood sport right now. It's like yeah. you know, what I'm saying I love the chase of this shit. I love it, and it's like it's just like the hunt for the yeah, next. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, like once like once this shit really does pop off, it's gonna be like like what's next? Like, you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm, I might I might do something else. I might go to movies. I might I might do some other shit. I don't know. <laughs> You're gonna start acting soon too, or maybe like fashion. I got a lot of ideas, bro. Like music, I feel like music is just like my way in. Cause, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, like that's what a lot of people think. Mm-hmm. Like music becomes like their their plug in. It was like my then, first love. Like that's yeah. like my first like you know what I'm saying. But I feel like 
there's gonna be a time when that's gonna be like I don't wanna be one of the niggas that hold on to it for too long. Yeah. I, like once I'm up there, I kinda wanna let go and just do something else. I feel like a good example of that is like ASAP Rocky. Like he's exactly. still doing music, but he also does like he does his fashion, exactly. you know, stuff like that. And like there's other artists that are kinda like been in the game longer. Like, you know, Snoop's got his like his pens mm-hmm. now that he does. So he much does you like do, sneakers. Bro. There's so much money out there. Rihanna, bro. Rihanna does her um her Fenty shit, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? There's like a lot of other there's more to this music shit than just mm-hmm. music. I think it's, it's just the brand. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, once yeah, you get yeah, the brand yeah. big enough, then mm-hmm. you can you're able to like collect with other like you just just cross that's branding big it's just always like, music, got all, that aug shit mm-hmm. now they yeah, got exactly. that which like, music's doing. always gonna be a part of me yeah, like yeah. i'm always gonna stick to to stick to the script and shit but like i definitely did, am like planning on like you know branching out and do yeah. other shit and, like so let me talk to you about these tattoos which okay. what's the significance of all these because you got a couple right yeah and i it's crazy like i got i got the heart and like the love shit like like in like 2015 like, sure did they hurt 16. when they did them or nah to be honest like like tattoo fucking hurt, but like my face was like the least like like. That's what everybody keeps. That's painful. what everybody keeps telling me. Believe it or not, because I'm my, my homeboy Deli who was on the show last week. Mm-hmm. He got a like a big ass Harlem World tattoo on his back, right? Mm-hmm. And he said that that shit hurt more than the heart he got like on his uh. Yeah. I think he got a heart. He got something on the side of his neck right here. He's like this shit didn't even hurt, <laughs> but when the when the Harlem World tattoo was like sprawled across his back, he said that was the most painful one <laughs> no. of the most painful experiences of his life. My neck tattoo. I don't know. There's like a nervous tension. I remember every time they touched a certain does, spot, yeah. like my fucking foot was jumping. Right. <laughs> that shit was hurt. I was I was like tearing up in my my neck. So what do each of these tattoos mean? Do they all have a significant meaning? Or? Nah, like um, the love and the heart. Actually, the, the heart. It wasn't like um as clean as it is now. At right. first, it was like a scribble heart, and I had my daughter draw it up, and like I went and got it. Oh, like, that's dope. Yeah, and then like um, but then, like it kind of like started fading away, and I had my boy do it for free. It was like a bullshit like tattoo. Mm-hmm. So I ended up getting it covered up like 2016, getting oh, it bigger okay. and shit. But the love was there. They don't really have no meaning. I'm not okay. Shit was actually like a, um my chemical romance lyric. That's like a old like. Emo like screamo like yeah I know I know okay, come okay, on yeah, the yeah, one thing I forgot that, yeah. to mention is that like my my background wasn't always hip hop my me background neither. growing up was like my my father was really into like classical classic rock oh like, yeah, me so, too see? yeah my father was into classic rock my mom was into Spanish was into mm-hmm. Spanish music and then I grew up in like a predominantly black and Spanish town and then I went to school and that's how I got into hip hop and all that Word. so like I so growing up I had like I I had Led Zeppelin in my phone I had Biggie in my phone and I had like fucking Ricky Martin in my phone yeah. like, so, like <laughs> that's crazy shit. that's so, a crazy mix that's yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. even right. even today like my playlist be my playlist be crazy because like one moment I want to be listening to like. I'll be wanting to listen that to like Russian. Yeah, yeah I want to be listening to like Guns N' Roses or like some <laughs> shit like that My place is fucked up bro I go from like the Misfits to like camera, like to like Purple City Camera or Purple Haze the Purple Haze album my shit's fucked up Like Green Day like Green Day was like my shit, big yeah. like when I used to play guitar Green Day was like my biggest like my biggest influence and then obviously like and then like the um, I think the, the one of my favorite albums I think the first album I purchased growing up was an album that kind of like I felt combined all that shit and it was um it was the Linkin Park and Jay-Z album yeah, which I feel like that album is like oh, that was like that broke walls down. Like that, like yeah, I think th- yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. I think that album and then Wayne's album, um, it was a re- rebirth. rebirth. What was his, rock, was his rock, rock album? album his rebirth, rock album? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That album and Wayne's rebirth album were like, like a decade, like quite literally a decade yeah. ahead of its time. Because now you look at the music now, everything's like kind of like from that. coming kinda full circle. From that. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, there's but, a lot of cross collaborations from that. But yeah, tell me about these other tattoos. You got the the on your eyelids. Yeah. Oh, the X's. Yeah. yeah that's what's up? Ex- that's like some dead shit. I seen that shit in the cartoon. Like, and you fire. just like, I fuck with that? I'd like, be fire. Like, if I, if I put X's on my eyes, like in the cartoon. Like, and you got like the little Harry Potter bolts. Oh, yeah. I'm like a huge Harry Potter. You're a big fan. Harry when Potter I was person. Locked up, I read, I read the series like three times, bro. I oh, for real? Yeah, I, I, I love that. I love that shit. What other ones you got? You got the one right here. You yeah, said that one, right? It's the love in the heart. Yeah. Then I got the one like, on your neck. Yeah, I got my wife's name and shit. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't know you was married. That's oh, yeah. dope. See, I'm not a, yeah, yeah, I got I got a wife and kids and shit. I'm chilling, man. Oh, so you got a you got a whole family now. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> family, man. Family That's crowd. dope. So tell me what you got coming up. What we got, um, what's next for you? Uh, I got the album coming out like I don't know what I'm gonna drop. Probably like two weeks. I'm gonna drop that shit whenever. That's how I do it. Like I just. Like, I feel like that's how a lot of artists now do. Yeah, you know I'm what I'm saying drop, like it's not. It's no longer about setting an exact release date. It's yeah. more like a. I'm gonna drop my album in like a week. You know, like like Schoolboy dropping his album next week. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. it's no longer about like oh we're gonna set a release date months ahead. I mean some artists do, but it's more just about like oh I'm gonna drop it when I drop it when I feel like it. Yeah, yeah that's a fact. Like, every time I record a new song and this shit like that, and I'll be like, nah, it's gotta go on the album, and then it changes like the whole dynamic of the album. And I'm like, nah. So it's like then I like record a new song. It's like so every time I think I'm done with it, it's like I record a new song and it's like yeah. it just changes. I got like so now it's like the, yeah, I got more to pick from and shit. Mm-hmm. So like it, the shit's pretty much been done. I had like the shit. I, I had like been planning on dropping the shit for like 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 four months now. It's just like but now I'm really ready. But to now drop. it's like about to be summer. It's 80 
put the shit together and like let it go. Like you got any other people on that project with you, or is it I just do, you? Yeah, I got a lot of features. I got like um my boy Bodie, he's here, and, and um I got my nigga Marlon. I got fucking G Rock, Millie, like, a lot of niggas from like my area and shit like mm -hmm. that. Like that's coming up and shit like that. Like I'm trying to like shed light on my area because there's a lot of talent in the area. Right, right, right. And you got like a nice little buzz on yeah. Instagram and shit like that. I see your comment sections be on fire, yeah. bro. <laughs> and you're also doing um well, we're both kind of doing it. You're just doing a different day than me. We're both doing the um the day summit. Yeah. Oh yeah, the 25th. So you're doing yeah. the 25th. I'm, I'm hosting on the 27th. The 27th. So what? So what's your stage? Your stage is like the indie stage, the right? Indie stage, exactly. Yeah, we're gonna turn that shit up. I can't wait for that. So is shit. it like multiple people, or do you know how it's working yet, or not? Um, I think there's some other people on the build too, but like I'm, I'm bringing, I'm, I'm bringing out a couple people, and like we're just gonna turn up. Like I know I got like I'm gonna be up there for like 15 minutes. That's dope. I'm trying to turn up. That's dope. So project coming soon, mm -hmm. whenever, whenever you feel like dropping like two it. Two weeks. I'm gonna say two, three, two weeks. Two weeks. Day summit. You got anything else going on or? Um, oh, I'm going to LA next week for my first time in LA. I'm about to link with a couple people. Oh, that's up dope. There. Trying to like turn about there and shit like that. See what that's like. I know LA's popping right now. Shit, so I'm about to just see what's going on. All right, well that's amazing, man. Yeah, I want to congrat. Yeah. I I need that album. Yeah, send me that I album. Got you, uh, I'm looking forward to all the new music. I'm looking forward to everything you got going next. Uh, let the people know where they can follow you, where they can get your oh, music. Yeah. Instagram. Um, my Instagram going up too. So like, tune in. We go. We go. We, a lot of crazy shit on my Instagram. A lot of a lot of funny shit. A lot of serious shit too. You got a lot of crazy shit on your Instagram. Yeah, but we I, I, I try to mix it up. I try to be like. <laughs> But it's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Fuck. What is it? Give uh, them your Instagram. Oh, it's best, at, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shot. Is that Bank with a Pre? Um, <laughs> everything's at Bank with a Pre. My Twitter, my Snapchat, mm -hmm. email at Bank with a Pre. Everything. And where they, where can they get your music? Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, everywhere. All that good shit. Yeah, everywhere. Hey man, JC, thank you for coming. Yo, Bank with a Pre on the radar, baby. Let's get it.